this year. First of all, we're just uh, very pleased with the way we played today. I thought Brian gave us a big lift in going uh, six full innings, right at 100 pitches when he was taken out. It was a, a very good outing for him. It saved us from having to go to the bullpen. I thought uh, Benny did a very good job. Certainly the key hits in the ball game, there was a lot of them. The one McGee got, and I think the, the home run that Ruffy hit was a surprise to everybody because this is such a big ballpark and he just corked that thing out of there. So that was certainly huge, but just glad to see these young guys, the freshmen and the sophomore. And of course, we got a sophomore on the end too, so it's nice to see the young guys play like they did today. And again, we'll take questions for the student athletes only, please. Yeah. Brian, uh, Gavin Key from the London Day. Just talk about your pitching performance and how you able to kind of keep them up in check for the match. Um, basically, I was just trying to work both sides of the play with my fastball and throw off speed to keep them off balance and. I struggled in the seventh going into the right-handers, which gave them another run. And luckily, our defense bailed me out today. Questions here from Mark Dallas. Brian, it seemed like you got the corners early. Kind of caught fire at that point. Did you put your throw in? Is that accurate or not? Um, yeah, in the first inning, I definitely got a little a little help from an umpire on both sides of the plate, and then as the game wore on, it got a little tighter. But, I mean, he was, he was good behind the plate today. James, how, how difficult are these first games to play somebody you don't really know too much about and you just kind of concentrate on what you do? I mean, how do you approach it? I think that, you know, coming out of yesterday, getting to practice on this field is the first thing. Um, you obviously, it's a different environment, different ballpark than you used to playing it. You know, it's something our coaches preach real well is that you know, it's about us. It's, it's about the things that we can control. We can't control the weather or, you know, the way the ballpark's planned. Um, the other team's going to come and play inspired baseball at this point in the season. So I think it's, you know, it's all about looking inwardly for us and, and knowing that if we're going to play our best, best baseball at this part in the season, and, and so are other teams. So we got to focus on ourselves. And how much of it, uh, the way you play is putting pressure on the other team. You take extra bases, you know, solo bases, whatever. How much is that an important part of your game? You know, it's the seminal way we're going to put pressure on you and we're going to make you make plays and make outs and, and we're not going to um, lay down for any team. We're going to go hard for 27 outs. Jay, I'm wondering if you could talk about the reaction after they took the weight on you and, and y'all's reaction to the dugout and, and on the field. We've been uh, going through it all year, up, up and down, and we've been fighting late on to the games and stuff. And we just, like you said, we fight for 27 outs and never give up. Just talk about how big those seventh and eighth innings were, just kind of you know break things open. To break it open was great. I mean, they're a good ball team, and they were swinging the bat fairly well. We uh, had some good pitching today, obviously, but whenever you take a nice lead like that, it's good to, to know that you can play your baseball and don't have to do anything too special just to get it done. Uh, Don Memorial from Hartford Current. Can you just talk about what their pitcher was doing, uh, especially in the early innings when they seemed to be throwing a lot of off-speed stuff, getting off balance? So. Right, he did throw a lot of off-speed, kept us off balance for a little while, and then uh, I think we finally caught on to what he was doing, what he was trying to work us with, and we broke it open a little bit. Anything else from the student athletes? Gentlemen, dismiss the locker room. Thank you for your time. Well, after all these years, the preaching and all the other stuff, it's still different when you're in postseason play. It's amazing how sometimes the atmosphere changes. It's only natural. But I thought overall that our young men did a very good job of staying poised and trying to do what they've done all year long, and that's just keep scrapping. And I don't think there's there's any question that when McGee singled up the middle, it just seemed to be a relief for everybody.
anybody that we're, we got a one run lead. I believe that was the fifth. We knew that uh, their starter was high in his pitch count. Of course, are, are striving to, to get into people's bullpens. And we understand what first game situations hold. You don't want to, to go into your bullpen the first game for fear of using the people that you want to use in the next game and using them up. So I'm sure there was a lot of things going on in, in the other dugout in their mind. And fortunately, we just happened to get some key hits and the game developed like it did. That was a good baseball team. I was very impressed with Central Connecticut. Charlie Hickey's done a great job with that program. We, we know we didn't see their top of the line relievers because of the situation being what it was. So it's uh, just what anybody else would have done if they find themselves behind with with a couple of innings left. That, that's 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 tough. You notice we didn't we didn't go get anybody to pick up Bennett because of we know what can happen. Central Connecticut turn around and score three or four and all of a sudden they got a chance to get the time run of the plate. It's a credit to Charlie and the great job that he does in this coaching. How much of a tone setter was it for Halton? First inning leadoff gets a hit, goes right to second base, or play might have been a single for a lot of hitters. How much of a tone setter was that and kind of a statement about the way you guys play? Uh, it's just Tyler Holt. Uh, it's funny that you asked that. I, I know he's probably going to sign him. And I'm thinking, who in the world are we going to get to replace him? <laughs> he is uh, a very aggressive baseball player. He's, he's uh, what all of us want our sons to grow up to be like when it comes to playing baseball because he only knows one speed. And he's, uh, he's a special player. Questions for Coach Hick? Coach Martin? Go Martin tomorrow. Get it tomorrow. Coach that way I can do. Thank you. Thank you.